Well, James, there's a, a pattern developing across this season. There are lots of draws, thousands of runs scored in the matches between Worcestershire, but not so much on the, the side of the wickets for the bowlers. No, it's been a, it's been a tough couple of championship games, uh, the fixture between us and Worcester this year. Um, yeah, you summed it up beautifully, and, and this game was another case of that where um, a lot of runs piled on, some nice milestones for some batters and some some uh, hard work for the bowlers um, and sometimes that's just the way it is you know um, I don't think we've seen that a lot here at the Riverside um, in recent history but uh, we've seen a little bit of it this year here so maybe things are changing here. I think it's about two and a half thousand runs in the two games 10 centuries and 37 wickets or something like that so like a giant game of chess really. Yeah it is it is and um, you know, we, we relayed the wicket here um, 18 months ago and um, last season it was bedding down and, and maybe we're now starting to see the fruits of of that renovation. So um, the pitches have been good wickets, they've been really good pitches. Vic and his team have done an outstanding job. Um, he's left more grass on it than he has ever done since he's been here and um, we're just seeing wickets that are really, really good to bat on. Um, you can still take wickets out there. We've seen that with Ben Rain, we've seen that with Matty Potts earlier in the season. Um, it's just you've got to work a little bit harder as a, as a bowling group to get your rewards. So that's our reflection as a group is we've still got to keep thinking of, of ways of how we take 20 wickets. Uh, the skills there, um, it's just being able to put it all together. So that's our challenge, I think, looking ahead to the, the Derbyshire and the Middlesex games that we've got in a few weeks' time out here. And what happens now with Rachin Ravindra? Does he go off into the to the twilight? Is there any possibility of trying to bring him back at some point in the future? Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, he came in very much on this one-game basis, and it's 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 not a bad situation for him to leave now. Two hundred and sixty odd runs. Um, you know, a fantastic double hundred in the first innings. Uh, I think he's looking for some sub-pro deals around the Northern League. So a shout out to anyone that might want to take take him up. Um, you know, unfortunately, his time with us is, is now finished. We've got Nick Maddinson coming in in a couple of weeks, fresh off uh, a tour that he's on currently in Sri Lanka. Um, but look, I think Ratchin's done himself a, a great service in terms of you know future prospects in the county game. Now, um, David Beddingham injured his shoulder on the, the outfield yesterday. He was having a scan today. Have you heard anything about that at all? Yeah, again, we're just waiting on the exact results from that. He, he was chucked in the scanner early this afternoon, so we're just waiting on reports to see the severity of it. Um, he seems pretty good within himself, but again, until we get that detail, I can't really comment. Ashton Turner, is he likely to be back for the T20 this weekend? Yeah, again, again, his rehab over the last couple of weeks has been excellent. Um, it's been aggressive. He's really pushed the boundaries. Um, he's starting to hit some balls and we'll make a call on him tomorrow whether or not he's going to be available for, for this weekend's games. You've got Yorkshire here on Friday and then Leicestershire Sunday afternoon, so back into the, the swing of T20 once again now after this county championship. Yeah, absolutely, and you know we, we're coming off the back of a really cool win last Friday here against Yorkshire, uh, against Lancashire rather, so we know we're, we're up for a, a big game this Friday night against Yorkshire. Hopefully we'll get a, a nice crowd in. I think the weather is set well and truly fair, so we know if we can get a result uh, or a couple of really good results this week and then that throws us straight back into the mix again in this Vitality Blast. So um, we're really look, looking forward and excited to Friday and Sunday. Just a call from me, James. Um, some of the performances of uh, Ben Rain and Paul Coughlin and obviously scored his maiden turn and bowled extremely well. You found like that. From that pitch that no one else seemed to. Yeah, look, uh, I'm, I'm just thrilled for Ben and for Paul, you know, getting there. Made in first class hundreds, uh, you know, I think that was something that's really been sort of eating at them in the background. They know their qualities as batters and until you get that first first class hundred, you always feel like you've really got that point to prove and I'm just so glad for them now that they've, they've ticked that one off and they can just get on with it. Um, we've known within ourselves the quality that they possess as, as batters in their own right, um, so it's just really pleasing that they've shown at this game. Ben's been outstanding uh, with the ball for, for a number of years now and you know, with the surface changing slightly this year, he's still finding ways to take wickets and operate. Um, and that's a testament to him and, and his skill. So, you know, he's marrying that up now with the bat and he's been very consistent with, for us with the bat, particularly his last probably 10 or 12 first class games. He's, he's really starting to stack up some numbers um, with the bat as well as complementing it. Well, rather, his bat is complementing his ball now. So um, that's really pleasing to see. And, and Paul as well, you know, he's second game back after playing the first game for us down in Cardiff, getting an injury, an untimely injury. 
Um, so, you know, to score 100 in his second game of the season, uh, first game back after a lengthy break is awesome. And again, his bowling this game was outstanding. He got a couple of wickets today, uh, which I think was fair reward for the work that he's done in this game. Yeah, it's not easy to think it's his injury history more than most and coming back for that extra spell this morning when he's already pulled so many overs in the game. It's just yeah. to get two wickets and he was pulling quite a fair. Yeah, quite but a fair again, as well. yeah, again, Paul, like he's he's he works incredibly hard now in, in, in the background. Um, you know, he got himself really fit um, going into the season and unfortunately just had a little bit of a a niggle that meant that he had to rehabilitate early season but again he's put the work in um, he's chomping at the bit to put in performances for Durham and um, you know if he can keep doing these sorts of performances then we've got a seriously good cricketer on our hands and just the overall championship situation you're fifth in the standings at the moment are you satisfied where you are at the moment oh you're never satisfied um, but we've we just got to keep looking forward uh, we've still got a, a good amount of points out of this game um, obviously we want to try and push for a win, hence why we batted so big. We wanted to put some real school ball pressure on Worcester, but f you know, fair play to them. They, they withstood that and you know, they, they produced a couple of centurions themselves. So it is what it is. We, we now move forward in the championship to Derbyshire uh, in a few weeks' time out here and then following that up a couple of weeks later with another game out here against Middlesex. So really, um, you know, it's about us trying to work out um, you know, how we take 20 wickets. Um, I think, you know, through the course of this championship season, that's probably been one thing more than anything that we just haven't been able to get the 20 wickets. We've got the runs. Um, it's just getting the 20 wickets. So we'll keep banging our heads together and scratching our heads and keep trying to identify ways uh, to be effective in terms of trying to take the 20 wickets.